This is just not it. Like, I'm not liking it. I gotta put something on top of this. I can't wear this. For me, for me, it's everything for me. You are a queen. You always keep it G. For me, for me, that's why I gotta thank for you. It's true. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Ah! Welcome back, you guys. Okay, I'm so excited because today we're doing like a three in one. I already have my hair done, so I'm like, what type of three in one can I do? And I figured makeup, outfit, and fragrance. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I gotta go take some pictures, get some content, and I'm gonna hang out with Kiana. We're gonna go have lunch. So I figured I would bring you guys along and you guys could like see me do my makeup and get ready. So let's get right into it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I need to do my makeup because I need to go take some Instagram pictures and I'm in a good mood, so I figured why not do my makeup, why not talk to y'all, even though I ain't got nothing to talk about, but I figured why not. Um, it is 1.37, I'm trying to be done with my makeup by like 2.15 because I'm taking pictures with Kiana today, and she's sitting in my living room waiting on me because I decided to do my nails, which took me forever. Check out the nails so freaking cute like i am obsessed with them make sure y'all head over to my instagram so that way you guys can see my nailfy picture because they came out so cute i'm so like i'm in love with them i can't believe i have color on my nails y'all know i don't do color um so yeah let's get right into it doing this makeup typically i do my brows before i do anything else but i'm gonna try doing it after just because i'm lazy and i don't really know i don't really feel like dealing with my brows and my brows take the longest so i'm gonna just do do my face first um, so I'm gonna go in with the Hydro Touch by NYX primer. I used this primer for the first time in Wednesday's video as well, and I actually like it. It's not bad. It's not a bad primer per se, but it doesn't feel like if you are the type of person that likes like a very sticky base primer, well, okay, yeah, if you're the type of person who likes a very sticky base primer, you'll like this after you have already applied it because when you're putting it on, I feel like it just feels like water, like going on your skin. Like, it's very slippery. As you guys can see, it doesn't have like a lot of stickiness or a lot of tackiness. So keep that in mind when you're buying this primer, but I love it. It makes my skin feel like refreshed and like awake and I'm here for it, I love it. So once it does dry down, it gets a little bit more tacky. Um, I didn't realize that at first because I put my foundation right on top, but I actually like it. It definitely gives me Fenty vibes. Like if you're looking for a dupe for the Fenty primer, I highly recommend trying this if you don't wanna spend the money on the Fenty primer. And I'm gonna go in with the Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer and I'm gonna put this in my T-zone. Just gonna put this in my T-zone because I don't really know what this primer do. I just used it in uh, a couple days ago and I liked it, but it feels like kind of like a pore filling or like a smoothing primer. Is that what it's called? No, but it feels like it's like smoothing out my skin, if that makes sense. So I just put it on my T-zone just to kind of get rid of my pores. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to be filming today. I was kind of in a crappy mood when I woke up this morning because Oh, I got some more of my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Caramel. You guys know I use this concealer all the time to like um, treat my acne scarring and like color correct. If I can get this thing open, doggone. Hold on. Yeah, so I like to use this color for um, like just correcting like my acne scars. I feel like it's like the perfect color. It's a tad bit darker than my skin, but not too crazy. So yeah, I just use this just to kind of conceal any of my little scarring. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be filming today. I'm always excited to film. I feel like I say that all the time to the point that y'all don't believe me, but I really genuinely be excited to film because it's not often that I'm in a good enough mood to film a video, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know why, but a lot of times I'd be so stressed out and I get in my head to the point that I don't film. But, um, the past couple of days I've just been in a good mood and if you guys watched my video um, on Wednesday you would know that I was feeling like really nauseous wow how dare I sit down with not any of my brushes one second so um, in Wednesday's video I was telling you guys that I was like about the story when I threw up when my client was here and today I still woke up feeling pretty nauseous I'm not pregnant I took several pregnancy tests so it's not that I think really honestly I'm just dehydrated um, I can't even tell y'all the last time I drank some water because I really don't like drinking water. So I'm gonna just drink water for the couple next couple days. Like that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just see how that goes. 
So I'm just gonna blend this out with my Morphe R30, R35 brush. I like to just blend it out just enough and then I'm just gonna go over that with my Biggie Blender. I burnt my forehead right here when I was trying to do my baby hairs. Y'all gotta see the vlog because in this vlog, my baby hairs look freaking crazy. Like I was trying to do like the Diera baby hairs and it's just not for me. I don't know if she has a big forehead, I don't know what, but girl, I look like a wet dog, okay, with them baby hairs. So I had to go ahead and redo the top four braids because I just was not feeling it, like at all, I was not feeling it. Okay, so for foundation, y'all, I have not tried it. This foundation has been sitting in my drawer for a minute. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops Blurring Skin Tint. And a lot of people, I didn't want to use it because I don't really like skin tint. Like if I'm gonna wear foundation, I want to put on foundation, you know what I mean? Like. I don't wanna just throw on no little baby foundation and like no little tinted moisturizer. But Tasha um, had been raving about this product. So I'm like, I'ma just go ahead and try it. But I've been having it for a minute, a couple of months and I just have not used it. I picked up the shade 15. I My shade um, reference, I used Tierra Walker. So yeah, she used I think like 14 and 15, but I was not about to buy both. So I just grabbed 15, which looked like it'll be, yeah, def this definitely looked like it's gonna be closer to my skin tone. So. I don't know y'all, let's see how this goes. It looks a lot lighter than my skin and I'm already scared. Like I'm already like scared, but apparently it's supposed to be a really good product. So I don't know, but I feel like you might have to use a lot because I'm not seeing, I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of coverage out of this. So let's see. Yeah, see, okay, I feel like it's like, like a your skin but better and it's definitely pulling very 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 neutral on my skin i don't know if you guys can see that maybe this wasn't this was also a color that they recommended on the website too um but it's pulling very very neutral like almost a little gray and i don't think i like it i don't think i like it i don't think i like this foundation um but it's here it's on I think I'm gonna just leave it on and that's just going to be that because I, I don't know. I'm just, uh, okay, I'm gonna just keep going because right now on camera, you guys can't see it as much, but in person, girl, I look freaking casket sharp, okay? Like I look gray. I better not even attempt to put this product on my forehead. Maybe it oxidizes. Maybe once I add everything together, it'll look good. But right now, there's no hope. Like none this is just not it like i'm not liking it the coverage and the finish is fine it's just i think maybe i might have the wrong shade i gotta put something on top of this i can't wear this um i'm gonna go on top of that with my airbrush flawless finish foundation from charlotte Tilbury because i'm just not liking this foundation like let me take a picture so i can insert the picture so you guys can actually see because this foundation is definitely gray. I'm gonna ask Kiana. Kiana, come. I'm gonna see if she notices what's wrong with my foundation. Yes. What's wrong with my foundation? That ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. I told y'all, just so y'all know I'm not crazy. It's not, I feel like the finish is fine. The finish looks really nice, yeah, like, but it's definitely gray. Like yeah, it's definitely like, like super cool, like, like super neutral, super cool tone. And you tan right now. Yeah, and I'm super tan. So maybe this is just not my found my tan color. So I'm gonna put this back in the box. Yeah, Thanks, babe. I'm gonna put this back in the box and yeah, we're gonna move box. on to, I'm gonna just wear this foundation today because it's definitely more of a red. Okay, y'all see this foundation? This foundation looks so much more like my skin tone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to try that Fenty foundation in a different shade, but this is, yeah, this right here is definitely more closer to my skin tone. Now, do you guys see the difference? This foundation is definitely, it was way too gray. Yeah, I like this. This looks so much better because that gray was just not doing it for me. So <coughs> this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade 11 and the, this is, um, natural in the shade 11 natural. And I really like the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I didn't really see like a big range on their um, page, but 
I like it, it's not bad. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm gonna go take some pictures today. I'm gonna be taking pictures twice today because I'm gonna go take pictures with Kiana and then I'm most likely gonna take pictures with John. So yeah, and another reason I like this foundation because I feel like it blends in with my forehead a little bit better than like a lot of my other foundations, so. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with this Kevin Aquan concealer in the shade XS08. I'm so offended that they do not sell this concealer at Sephora because you have to order it directly from the Kevin Aquan website. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't like having purchases in a million different places. Like, I just don't understand why all brands can't be in one store so that we can all just go to the store and just get all of our stuff, right? Like, I gotta go here for Kevin Aquan. I gotta go some places. Some products only Ulta sell, some products only Sephora sell, and I'm just like, babe, so can we just all get in like one umbrella? Like, can we just all, you know, like be in the same room? So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. This is a, what brush is this? This is a medium shadow brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to apply this everywhere that I want it. I love this concealer. I've been having this concealer for a minute and I've barely even like used it. It's so thick and so full coverage that a little bit goes a long way and you really don't even need a lot of it. Like really a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just applying this all over my skin. Wow, I'm in such a really good mood. I don't even have nothing to talk about y'all, but I was gonna do this video voiceover style because I, Felt like I was in like a bad mood, but right now I'm in like a really good mood. Like I don't know what it is. Maybe because I did my nails and my nails came out cute. Like I have no idea why I'm in such a good mood, but I am. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not gonna do a voiceover. I'ma just turn on my camera and just talk because um Wednesday's video, you guys seem to really like that video. That video got over 200 views in 24 hours, which never happens. And all I did was turn on my camera and just start talking. So I'm like, okay, maybe you guys like that style of a video. Like my videos don't always have to be so structured. And I think that's where I am like so hard on myself because I feel like I'm always trying to like plan everything out down to the detail, you know, down to like the last second. Um, but sometimes y'all don't want that. Sometimes y'all just want me to get on camera and just talk. Like it don't have to be structured. So I treat y'all like I'm talking to a friend, even though we are friends. But I just, that's how I treat it. I treat it like I'm just talking to one of my girlfriends. We just hanging out. Excuse me? Um, yeah, I treat it like we just hanging out. We just chatting and catching up. So while this sits, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Teddy. Looks like this. This is probably not gonna do anything for me because I'm so tan right now, but you know, it doesn't hurt to try. And I'm just gonna use this brush. This is a number 116 Co Cosmetics brush. So I'm just gonna take that. Yeah, y'all see, it really didn't do much because I am tan right now. So yeah, it really ain't gonna do much. And I'm just gonna put that here on my temples. If you guys haven't seen my video on how to highlight and contour for your face shape, I'll leave that video linked in the card so that way you guys can check that out. Um, Cause it's a very good video, it's very informative and I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna use this brush because this brush has like excess product left over on it. So I'm just gonna use this brush to like, you know, kind of blend everything in together. So yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, you know how some days you're just like in a really good mood? That's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like I hear music in my head and I'm like dancing. Like, I'm like that type of excited. I don't know. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna take just this little brush and just kind of blend, make sure that everything is like in there, in there. Yeah, and then I'll blend that out in a second. Actually, I'm gonna blend it out now. So before I blend out my face, I'm gonna spray it with the matte. Okay, so I let me tell y'all a trick, right? I use both. I use the matte setting spray and the dewy setting spray from NYX. And even though I have dry skin, I use the matte one too because it helps to mattify my skin without overly drying my skin out. And I feel like because I'm in Japan and it's so humid here, it helps with keeping my skin in check and making my makeup look like it just lasts all day long. So I'm gonna do a mixture. I'm gonna do the matte right now while I still have um, wet products on and then when it's dry and I need to do like my last final set, I'm gonna go in with the dewy. And then I'm just gonna let this dry down 
and we're gonna blend it out. I kinda wanna get this concealer in like a darker, I mean not darker, a lighter color, like maybe one shade lighter. Like I love this shade, but I feel like when I'm a little bit more tan, like right now, it kind of just melts into my skin. So I want one shade lighter. Yeah, see normally this found, this concealer would be like super bright under my eye. But like I said, I'm so tan right now and I'm only gonna get darker. Like it's literally not even summertime yet. Like June 21st has not got here and I'm already like, ma'am, you're gonna need to buy all new foundation if you don't calm down. Like that's how I feel right now. But my skin looks really good though, I love it. I'm so much more happy right now with my skin than I was a few months ago. And even just a few minutes ago with that foundation, that was just like, not it. I don't know who is revving their bike. Like it's not that serious, it's not necessary. I'm gonna go in with a second layer, just because I kinda want it to be a tad bit brighter. Just a little bit brighter. And I'm only gonna put it right there and on my chin too. Here we go. Okay, so now I need to set my face in place. Make sure y'all close up y'all concealers when y'all done. Why is it that every time I film, somebody has an emergency? Like, I don't understand. Like, I mean, I pray that they are okay, but Jesus Christ. So annoying. So I'm gonna set my face. You guys already know what brush I'm gonna use. Actually, I've been using a brush and my sponge. So I'm gonna use my Morphe M438 brush to initially set, and I'm using my airspun powder. If you have not tried the airspun powder, you should definitely try it. I use the shade Naturally Neutral, and it is like the best, like hands down the best setting powder. That's super inexpensive. I like this powder more than I like, like my Le Mercier and my hourglass powders and stuff like that, I would pick this one over that any day because it's just that good. Like it is definitely in competition with the girls. Like Airspun is giving the girls a run for their money. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to set. And I do a very light layer of powder initially just because I don't wanna be like super cakey or anything like that. Like I just want everything to go on smooth. And then I go in and press it into my skin with my sponge. That's the key. Like I just look so good. Like it just looks so bomb. I love when I'm having like a good makeup day. Like when I'm having a good makeup day, I feel like everything else like falls into place. Does that make sense? Like everything else is so much better. My day is better. Like my mood is better. But if I was to do my makeup right now and filming would be going like crazy. Filming would, if I were to do my makeup right now and I would be having a hard time like with my lighting and everything like that, if I let that stuff get to me, I would probably have a bad day. Not even gonna lie. Like my days are very easily influenced. One little thing and I'm like, that's it, I'm done. Like I'm done for the day, don't talk to me. I don't wanna be bothered, I'm not filming. I ain't married at this very second. Like just, everybody just leave me alone. Like you know what I'm saying? And I really don't like that about myself. I really need to work on that. But baby steps, one day at a time, one thing at a time, okay? I found some wallpaper for my um, my wall. I'm not even gonna tell y'all. So just know that I'm changing up my room. Like, I'm changing up my background. I was just reading a comment and somebody was like, dang, just as soon as I was about to say I like your background, you say you're changing it. Ma'am, I'm a Pisces and if you don't know, if you don't know, then you don't know. But if you know, then you know. Like, I, I just can't sit in the same thing every day and I just don't like it anymore. Like, you guys can't even see my full background because, like, there's nothing for you to see, you know? So I think when I redo my room, I think I'm gonna scoot you guys further closer to the wall up there so that way you can see more of my background. And also, I think I wanna buy a new lens because I feel like you can't really see anything. Maybe a wide angle lens. I don't know, y'all, I don't know nothing about cameras, I don't know nothing about equipment, and with being in Japan, it's so hard to find out like what type of equipment and stuff you wanna use. Like, in the States, I can just go to Best Buy and tell them, oh, excuse me, like, in, in the States, I can just go to Best Buy and be like, this is what I wanna do, this is what my channel looks like, this is the type of content I film, what kind of camera should I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, and go based off their recommendations, but, can't do that in Japan because there's a language barrier. I mean, I can, but 
I'm more skeptical about buying stuff in Japan because, you know, in the States, when you go to Best Buy, you can return something, but they take like a 15% like restocking fee. Here in Japan, when you buy something, girl, it's yours. Like there ain't no return in it. There ain't no exchange in it. Like it's final sale. It is what it is. They be looking at you like, well, I don't know what to tell you because it's final sale, you know? So I just be a little iffy because I don't be wanting to spend like a lot of money on products or a lot of money on stuff here and then I don't like it and I can't return it, I can't exchange it. I will be hot, like I'll be livid. So going into bronzer, well no, going into contour, we cream contour and now we're gonna powder contour. I'm gonna use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I really only use the middle shade and I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M536 brush. Just kidding, this is the wrong brush. Wow, I'm crazy. The brush I'm really looking for is this one, my Morphe M581. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is why I got them mixed up. This one just seems like a smaller version of this one, but I like this one because it's more fluffy. So yeah, I'm gonna just take that and just apply. I love when I add, I feel like a lot of people, favorite step is when they are adding like highlight and stuff, but I really feel like mine is like when I'm doing like my powder products, like my blush, my contour, my bronzer, because I just feel like you could just see the look come to life, you know? Or is it just me? What's your favorite part of your makeup routine? Like, let me know down below, because I really want to know what y'all's thought process is. I don't see how it could be anything else other than this. Like, once you add your bronzer, like everything just comes together. Like your bronzer is like the first step to seeing it finished. And you guys know, I don't know how to contour my nose, so I just go over it. I seen Nikki tutorials and I think, I think it was either Nikki, yeah, I think it was Nikki tutorials. I seen her do this a few years ago and I've been doing it ever since. Like, I'm not about to sit here and stress out about contouring my nose. Okay, so while my lashes dry, we need to go ahead and finish the face. Just wanna make it clear, I am so a brows before foundation type of girl. I feel like it's harder doing my brows when I have makeup on. I don't know what that's about, but I will never do that again. I will only do my brows before foundation. They look okay, but I definitely struggled a lot more with my brows. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this Love Sprung palette by Artist Couture. It's so cute, it kind of matches. Well, it really don't match my nails, but they're both pink, okay? And I'm gonna go in with Lotus Love and Infatuated. So basically both of them. And these are extremely pigmented, so be careful. And this is a Morphe, I don't know, it's an R2 or R3 brush. I've had this brush for so many years that I don't even know what it is. It, it's rubbed off. And then we're gonna add some bronzer. I never really understood the, the difference between bronzer and contour until recently. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm gonna put that like right in between my contour and my blush. I just love this step. It just makes me look so bronzed. Literally, I guess that's the point of bronzer is to look bronzed. Um, contour, if you guys don't know, contour chisels and creates shadows and definition and bronzer warms up the skin, makes it look bronzy like a sun kiss glow. I'm gonna spray the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray first. This one is a new bottle. And then I'm just gonna take my fan and just let everything kind of soak in. Okay, so I went off camera and I put on my lashes and I changed my outfit. You guys seen what outfit I'm wearing. So now I need to do my lips and then we need to move on to fragrance. So for lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the NYX eye pencil in the shade light brown. Yes, I know it's an eye pencil, but I really feel like their eye pencils are better than their lip pencils because the lip pencils, I feel like they're not as creamy as the eye pencils. The eye pencils just glide on, but the lip pencils kind of like pull and tug at your lip and I don't like that. So I'm gonna use this, and then I also think I wanna use this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Like it looks, I don't know if it's cream, if it's white, if it's pink, I have no idea, but I wanna use it. So I'm gonna apply my lip liner. And I like this lip liner, this color specifically, because it's a little darker than my skin tone, but 
it blends in perfectly because I like to overline. You can't tell where my natural lip starts and stops because my lip liner is so close to my skin tone. So I only outline the top and the bottom. I don't outline the sides because that's how you can tell that your lips are overlined. If you are out overlining your entire lips, you should only be overlining the center to give you kind of like that pouty lip look. I have my lip liner on and I'm going to go in with this color. Like I said, I have no idea if this is about to be pink, if it's about to be white. I have no idea because it's like two-tone. Like there's two different colors in here. Yeah, this is definitely like a baby doll pink and I'm not here for it. So, okay, going back to my favorite glosses right now. I don't want to do stone because I used stone last time. It's not bad, I just don't want a pinky tone. So I'm gonna go in with amber. Now we're gonna move on to fragrance. I love, I feel like I can't stop looking at myself, but let me stop. So I have three different fragrances that I wanna choose from today. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna be using two different fragrances. So I'm gonna layer the Zara uh, Gardenia and the Zara Black Amber. So I think I'm gonna spray black amber first and then i'm gonna top it off with gardenia and when i put my perfume on i like to do two sprays per wherever i put it so and i do not rub it in because i feel like rubbing it in just makes it go away if that makes sense so i don't rub it in i just let it stay there and it lasts all day my husband is always like what are you wearing even when i'm like out in public people are always complimenting me for my fragrances and all i do is just layer fragrances together just because i just Feel like it makes a whole different perfume so instead of buying another one i have two in one so there we go all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video i had a blast hanging out with y'all i can't wait to see you guys in my next video the next video will be sunday's vlog and then i will see you guys on monday for a chit chat get ready with me thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe to my channel here on youtube and i'll see you later bye yeah. you